the White That's House the says goal. the uh, Chinese spy balloon downed off the coast of South Carolina was equipped to collect intelligence signals, though President Biden said in a new TV interview now that he did not see the balloon as a major security breach. At the same time, the White House reportedly preparing restrictions on American investment in China and technologies that could be used in warfare. The New York Times saying those rules could be issued within two months. Joining us right now to talk about this, the security, the economic fallout from the balloon voyage, a retired U.S. Air Force a Brigadier General Robert Spaulding. He served uh, on the Pentagon, uh, at the Pentagon, I should say, in the National Security Council and is now CEO of the tech security firm uh, Sempra. And we uh, appreciate him joining us right now. What did you make of, of President Biden's sort of back and forth comments before we even get into it? Well, I think uh, it's part of the process where Washington, D.C. doesn't really understand how the Chinese Communist Party does things. Sure, it's about intelligence collection. The balloon program's been around for a long time. They've been using it. Um, but what they tried to do with this time was by pushing it cr across the United States while Blinken was coming to China, the whole intent was psychological and more political than it was intelligence gathering. It was basically communicating to the world that the United States is weak, China's rising, and the Chinese Communist Party, you know, is doing this right when Secretary uh, Blinken is coming to China and uh, President Biden is having the State of Union address. So, um, so, so it, I mean, it was you meant to be embarrassing. Is that it was that it was a, a premeditated political attack on the United States. It was not some kind of security breach. So in that regard, it sounds like you may even agree with parts of what President Biden was saying about it. Well, again, how are we going to respond to it? It's the same thing what happened uh, that happened when she went to India. Remember, when she went to India, the uh, Chinese attacked along the border there. Also, when se our, we sent Secretary Gates to China, they de de debuted the J-20. So this is meant to show that the United States is weak and China is strong. So in that case, uh, you, you could say that allowing it to go across the entire United States was actually you know, benefiting China in terms of the messaging. Let me ask you, one, one of the things that's happened clearly as a result of this and so much else is that there is a real hawkishness, almost bipartisan hawkishness around how to deal with China, but specifically around the business community. And there's a sense increasingly that it's not that China is going to prevent American companies from doing business there, but America from preventing American businesses from doing business there. What do you think of that? And, and what do you tell American businesses that are doing business in China today? Well, it's funny because uh, I was talking to General Dick Newton right prior to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He asked me, are they going to invade? I said, absolutely. And I think, you know, American companies were caught off guard and lost a lot of money because of that. I think what, we, what we're facing with here, nobody wants, no company wants, certainly my company doesn't want restrictions on the use of capital. But the problem is that I think if we don't get ahead of this, then we're going to get caught off guard because China is going to move into Taiwan at some point. You know, Wang Huning, who is now on the standing committee, is has been put in charge of Taiwan reunification. So it is coming. She has said he's not going to leave it to the next generation. They're going to try to do it politically, but Taiwanese don't want that. And so we have to expect that at some point China is going to take Taiwan. And if we're going to be caught with our pants down, it's kind of like we were with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The fallout for companies is going to be a lot bigger. So right. Congress needs to get ahead of this, and that's what they're trying to do.